hello everyone this is a video on factorizing by grouping um the first thing that you will see in a question paper that this might be factorizing by grouping it's generally more than three terms you remember when it's three terms it's a trinomial so when it's more than three terms it's probably gonna be grouping what do you do you group terms together and then after that you take the highest common factor and then try to um, obtain a common bracket so let's look at i'm going to look at two examples let's look at the first example this is our example my plus 5 ny plus mx plus 5 nx now we're going to group them this first two we put them in one group and this one we put them in one group and then we'll take out a common factor in these two so our common factor is y so what we'll be left with here it's m plus here i'll be left with 5 n then the next group our common factor is x so it's plus x open bracket i'll be left with m plus 5 n now you have two terms you started with four terms here when you take out the common factor this is one term and this is the other term now when you look at these terms there's a common bracket m plus 5 n m plus 5 n you take that as a common fit m plus 5 n then what will be left if i take m plus 5 n i'll be left with y from this bracket and no from this term and from this term i'll be left with plus x now you have factorized it everything is inside the bracket this is factorizing by grouping Let's look at the second example, right? Uh, we have four terms. So these two terms, we group them together. And then this one, we group them together. So the common factor in this term and this term, it's 5x. So in the first term, I'll be left with a minus, if I take out 5x there, I'll be left with b. Right? Here, the common factor is plus y. In this term, I'll be left with minus A and then plus B. Right. I deliberately took minus Y so that we have this bracket. When you look at this bracket, you have A minus B. But in this one, it's not A minus B. It's minus A plus B. The signs are not the same. So the, the signs have to be exactly the same. So what you do, what you could have done, you could have taken out a negative Y. So I wanted to show you this. This why I did it like that. Now here, you take out a common factor of minus 1. So you'll have minus y. And then your a will be positive and your b will be negative. Because you took out the common factor of minus 1. Minus times positive will give you the minus a y. Negative and negative will give you positive. Okay. Now you, your, 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 your brackets are exactly the same. Then you can take them out as a common fact. A minus B. Then we are left with 5X minus Y. Right. This is how you do grouping. This is it. End of our lesson.